Welcome back everybody, today we're going back to Zenless Zen Zero with the real minimum requirement which should be quite low since the proposed minimum requirement was giving us over 100 FPS. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. A quick reminder before starting, the proposed minimum requirement was a 7 gen i5, 8GB memory and a GTX 970, but all those uh, hardware was giving us over 100 FPS and that at medium settings. Uh, to play at 1080p, 30fps, how low can we go or should we go with the, your hardware? Today we try to find out. From the proposed uh, 7 gen i5 to play the game to the 6 gen that I've used in my last video, I dropped directly to the i5 2500, second gen i5. Still with the 8GB of memory and we dropped the GPU from the GTX 970 to the GTX 960. Still a 4GB card but we need to drop uh, slowly. And playing at 1080p, low settings, we have an average of 104 FPS. When you don't forget to uh, remove the FPS limiter. GPU is pegged at 99 to 100%, the CPU is at uh, 70 to 80% of its position and the memory were at 6.6. Uh, .6. So sustainable I guess, but still a lot of headroom to drop even lower hardware. Dropping the GPU to the GTX 950, this is a 2GB card with a lower core clock than the GTX 960 obviously. The game is still highly playable at 1080p low settings. We got an average of 96 FPS with high of 120 and low as uh, 81 FPS. Pretty stable. CPU utilization is the same. GPU is peg and the uh, memory is at the 6.2. We clearly need to go lower. Now let's uh, drop another generation, the GTX 750 Ti. I think I'll go down by generation until I get in the 30 FPS ish. So 950, 750, 650, 550. I don't know how low I can go, but let's continue to drop down. And the 750 Ti fare quite well. Yes, the GPU is back at 100%, but at 1080p low settings, we're still averaging 81 FPS. This is highly playable. The CPU decision didn't change at all, again. And the uh, memory went down at 5.9 now instead of 6.6, 6.5. Not sure why I need less memory if the hardware is going uh, less performant. Let's continue dropping generation. Now the GTX 650 Ti Boost. This uh, for sure brings some uh, nostalgia to some people. Anyway, this uh, really old card give us a uh, an average of 71 FPS at 1080p low, with highs of uh, 90s and lows of 58 FPS. We are really close to the 60 FPS experience, but it really seems that's not low enough, so we're going to drop even more. Because with that FPS, yes, the GPU is peg, but mean we can drop the GPU even lower. Yes, my temps on that uh, GPU is quite high at 74, but it's the blower style uh, cooler that card have. And for CPU and RAM, nothing really to declare. Dropping the GPU again for another generation, the GTX 550 Ti. At 1080p low settings, we get an average of 36 FPS. I think we're quite close to our goal of 30 FPS. Still with the i5 2500 and 8GB of memory. Obviously, the GPU is back at 100% and the card also run out because this is another blower style uh, cooler. I think this is the closest we can be able to get uh, for the Nvidia side of things because I don't have the GTS 450. I have the GT 640 but it died on me so now it's time to drop uh, CPU I guess when I say dropping CPU I mean uh, first gen i5 the i5 650 still with the GTX 550 Ti since this seems to be the winning graphic cards to play at 30 FPS low settings at 1080p and I think this is our winner we get an average of 31 FPS we get as high as 42 43 FPS but we also go as low as 25 FPS and we are CPU bottleneck the CPU is back at 100% and the GPU is in the mid 90s so probably the i5 750 still first gen but the 750 instead of the 650 will be the winning to not uh, bottleneck the GPU in our current situation. So when they meant the proposed memory requirement is uh, i5 7 gen, maybe they meant i5 750 something, 760. Because if I remember right, the 700 series of the first gen is a 4 core 4 thread instead of the 600 series of the first gen, which is a 2 core 4 thread. That will make a, a little bit of difference, I'm pretty sure. But I don't have a i5 750, so I can just uh, speculate on its performance. Switching to AMD side of things, I went as low as I can, which will be my AMD X6. 1045T with the uh, AMD Radeon HD 7950. This is a 3 gigabyte card. I expect to perform well for this title, but let's see. The FPS was a bit uh, unstable. We average a 67 FPS, that's nice, but FPS reached as high as 88 and as low as 44. And this card being a 3 gigabyte 
of uh, VRAM. It barely used 1.7 or 1.8 gigabyte of VRAM. For the RAM itself, we are to have 5.4, 5.5, and the GPU is about 50% utilization. Still highly playable though. And to finish this video, my lowest AMD uh, Radeon card that can play the game or launch the game is the HD 7770. Because any HD 6000 series won't launch the game. I mean, it won't go past the menu. You reach the menu, you cannot uh, select anything. I know there's a lower HD 7000 series, but this is my lowest I have on hand. Maybe a 75. Uh, or 7300 uh, even lower maybe can play the game because right now I'm averaging 50 FPS with the 7770 so we have our winner for the real minimum requirement to play Sunless Zen uh, 0 Zone 0 the i5-650 or maybe I should say maybe the i5-750 would be more proper 8GB of memory and the GTX 550Ti even going lower on the Nvidia side I don't think it will fare well because we already reach 36 to 31 FPS for the AMD side I only have the the X6 1045T. Probably other CPU will do the job, but that's the only one I have on hand that low. 8 GB of memory and the HD 7770. Again, maybe an pressure lower HD 7000 series, like a 7350 will be able to do the job, but I don't have. And that's all for the real minimum requirement for Zen Less Than Zero. Zone Zero. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. And subscribe.